Finally, let's look at how to write letters. There's a formal letter and there's an informal letter. So what happens in a formal letter? What do we take care of? Here is an example of a formal letter. If you see, all the contents are aligned with the left margin. Right at the top, you need to put the company name with the company address, followed by the date, and then you will put the name of the person to whom you are addressing the letter, followed by his designation and his or her address. Now, remember to put the subject. The subject is the objective of your letter or the purpose of your letter. Now, you need to put some kind of greeting for the person like dear Mr. So-and-so or you could also say preferably respected Mr. So-and-so. After this, you have the content of the letter. Now, in the content of the letter, you need to ensure that right at the end, you have a closing remark, which could be looking forward to get cooperation from you. And then you have your signature. In the signature, mention yours sincerely or yours faithfully and your name. In the informal letter, the address and the date is on the right margin. Now the address is the address of the person to whom you are writing the letter. On the left margin, as you can see, is the greeting for the person, which will be dear, the first name of the person, like dear John, followed by the content of the letter. Now in the content again, ensure that you do keep a closing remark, like say, hope to see you soon, and your signature. Now in the signature, you can just put your name or you can say yours lovingly, Shalini. They say punctuation marks are very important in English language. Well, it is also important when doing sessions with you. So it is a full stop time. See you again in the next video.